Hello, welcome to Natural Lassie. This video will be a step-by-step -step natural hair tutorial on how to create this particular hairstyle, which is a hairstyle that is comprised of cornrows with a braided French braid in the back that's similar to a French roll, but not exactly, but it's similar with pin curls in the front. This hairstyle was done on my natural hair salon visit, which was Friday the 13th, which is January the 13th, 2012. So if you like this particular hairstyle, please stay tuned for the step-by-step -step where I list the product and the technique that was used. The first shampoo that my stylist used was the Curls Daughters Rosemary Mint Clarifying Shampoo to remove all the prior product buildup. And the second shampoo was the Tweed Moisturizing Sulfate Free Shampoo. It gives a great lather and your hair is very moisturized after that shampoo is rinsed off. And then the conditioner that was used was the Tweed Moisturizing Hair Smoothie where I was sat underneath the hair steamer for 30 minutes for a deep conditioning treatment. And once the conditioner was rinsed off, my hairstylist applied the Caracare Leave-In Conditioner along with the Caracare Buttercream. And here I see this, I still use the same bottle, which is the Curls Daughters, but I actually put jojoba oil and sweet almond oil in my spray bottle. So it is not Twee hair oil, it is the jojoba oil and the sweet almond oil. Then she used the edge tamers on the edge of my hair and at the end of my style when it was constructed, she used the Jane Carter Natural Hair Hold Spray Gel. So here I am in the stylist chair. She's unraveling my old style and it is comprised of many pin curls and she's been really patient and she's unraveling my hair. And actually it took her an hour and 10 minutes to unravel my hair. That's why I love my stylist because she's very patient and she takes her time. So here she is unraveling my hair and she's gonna do that same technique to unravel all my pin curls and she's just gonna use the same technique to unravel my flat twists on the side. So voila, my hair is, my previous style is unraveled now and it's time for me to proceed to the shampoo bowl. So right now all she's doing is just rinsing my hair to uh, get some of the loose dirt, uh, anything that's on my hair, just rinse it off then the first shampoo, of course, is the Rosemary Mint Clarifying Shampoo. This shampoo, again, is sulfate-free, so it does not strip any of your natural oils. It just gets rid of all the product that's on your hair. And then my second shampoo, because actually when you use the Rosemary Mint, it, it doesn't feel extremely dry, but it's not really moisturizing because the Rosemary Mint Shampoo is not a moisturizing shampoo. That's the reason why she followed up with the Tweety moisturizing stuff for a free shampoo from curls daughter which is very moisturizing and it gives a great lather here right now you see she's applying the curls daughter's tweed moisturizing hair smoothie which is a conditioner where i will be where she's going to put a plastic bag over my hair and i'm going to be sat underneath the hair steamer for an intense steam treatment and the reason why i use a steamer is because i looked online and said a hair steamer it gives a better conditioning treatment five times stronger than if you sat under a hair dryer or just did heat styling. So I bought into the concept of a hair steamer and it, does, and it does perfectly fine. I haven't had any hair issues. So here I am back at the stylist chair. The conditioner has been rinsed off and she is applying right now, she's applying the buttercream. She actually just lightly um, covered my scalp with the buttercream. She did apply the Care Care Leave-In Conditioner and she did spritz my hair with the oil uh, combination that's in my spray bottle that it represents Twee, but it, it it only has jojoba oil and sweet almond oil in the spray bottle. I, I always reuse bottles. I mean, I, it was no need to throw it away once it was empty. I just put more essential oils in it. So the technique that she used, she blow dried my hair on a cool setting with all three of those products that I just listed which was the leave-in conditioner, the oil, which was the jojoba oil, and the sweet almond oil, and the buttercream. She blew, she blow-dried my hair, and she used a wide tooth comb to maneuver through my hair. So when she constructed my hairstyle, she just put, made parts in the front of my hair. She sectioned that off because that's where my pin curls were going to be. And in the back of my hair, she split my hair straight down the middle because she's going to construct cornrows on the right side and the left side. So when she started the, the constructing of this hairstyle, she was just parting on the left side to the and stopped in the middle and then she corn rolled that 
and then she went over to the left side to finish out the bottom section where it has two cornrows leading to the center. So then as she was constructing this staff, she was thinking, well, why not just bring the part from uh, right side to left side to make the part straight right across, and then she'll just proceed to braid on the right side, make the cornrow, and then uh, when she reached the middle, it just be the hanging part, which will pretty much make a plaque. And then she would go on the other side and finish that particular row. So she would do the left side and the right side of the corn row. And then she would move, move upward to make another part, to make another section to construct the style. So here she is on the right hand side constructing the corn row. And she's not pulling too tight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're getting your hair corn rolled, either you're doing it yourself or you have someone else to do it, make sure it's not done too tight to prevent any bumps or any sores on your scalp. I heaven forbid if you have any, if they pull too tight, that you might lose strands. We want to keep the strands that we have on our head. We don't want to pull it out by a bad technique. So if you're corn rolling your hair, please just don't are having someone that's please do not pull too tightly i mean if 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 this style is completed and you have a headache after your style is complete please take it down it's too late just take it down it's not worth it because you just want to have a healthy hairstyle that's going to promote hair growth and not hair breakage and if you just have the cornrows corn rope firmly and not too tight the hairstyle will last so here she is on the left hand side of my hair doing the same technique this tech this hairstyle is re very repetitive because you have to do as you do on the right side of your hair you have to do on the left side and you want the parts to be equal on both sides as you construct in this hairstyle so again right now i said she's going to part from the right hand to the left side and the part is still straight down the middle and then she's going to start on the right hand side to construct the corner row and she's just pulling firmly but not too tight to construct the uh, corner row and as you notice here her hands are a little shiny it's because of the moisturizing products that she put on my hair and i can tell you ladies and gentlemen my hair is not dry it's very moisturizing and i just really appreciate the step that she used before she constructed my hairstyle she applied great products to my hair that that's very moisturizing and it gives a great shine so you don't have to put any further shine on your hair because what she did prior to braiding and plaiting it was substantial so here she is doing the same technique now she's at the top of my hair uh, finishing off the cornrows on the left and the right hand side and then she's going to have the hair in the middle just hang there for a while before she uh, plaits it going upward to con construct the braided French braid. So uh, her technique was to create the braids on the left, the cornrows on the left and the right hand side. And then she's going to go to the front of my hair and she's going to just plait that to create the pin curls. So on the edges of my hair there, she is using the character Edge Tamer. It really does a great job. It uh, makes your edges look sleek and smooth. When you first put it on, it looks like it has a residue, but as it uh, stays on your hair, it, it dissolves in, so uh, it won't look like that towards the end. Give it a couple, like, five or ten minutes, and, like, right here, you can't even tell. Like, like when she put it on, it looked like it was very sticky and tacky, but as it stayed on my hair, it just smoothed into my strands, so it just looks smooth and uh, sleek, in my opinion. So right now, all she's doing in the front of my hair that was sticking there, she uh, just used a comb. It wasn't defined parts. She just grabbed a section of hair and she just braided it down. And right now, on all of the braids that she braided on the top, she didn't actually braid all the way to the end. It's just a little bit of my uh, my uh, little bit of my hair remaining outside of the braid, but that's fine. And all she does is circle that around her finger. And then when it gets too tight, she'll, she'll slide it off her finger and she'll just create a circle and press it down on my scalp. And then she is using a combination of bobby pins and hair pins to keep my pin curls down. So here she is doing the same technique. She's grabbing the section of hair that she's already braided. She made it into a pin curl. 
a curl, and then she put a pin on it, holding na uh, the name for a pin curl. So you curl the hair down, and then you put the bobby pin in it to create your pin curl. So again, this particular section of hair is very repetitive as well. So she has a couple of pin curls already constructed. So here she is right there. She's just uh, twirling the hair down, making the curl, and she's going to place it on my scalp, and then she's going to grab a hairpin or a bobby pin, and she's just going to slide it through to create the hair pin. The, yeah, the pin curl. So there she is. So, and I still have a uh, some hair that still needs to be braided, so here she is. She's going to do that. She's going to braid it going upward, and you can braid it if you want to pull it backward. It doesn't matter because you're just going to pin curl it. It's, it's not going to stay the direction that you braid it. So here she is. This is the last braid that she's going to, well, plait that she's going to uh, construct to form the pin curl. So she has two more pin curls to construct from these two plaits that she just placed in my hair. And again, she's not going to braid all the way to the tip. But if you want to braid the hair all the way to the end, that's perfectly fine. But um, I, I have I have worn pin curls before, and actually she has left a little more of the hair unraveled at the end where it didn't look too look it didn't look too well. So she did have to braid a little more, but not necessarily all the way to the end. So here she is just twirling the hair around each other to make a circle, and then she presses it on my scalp. And then she's grabbing for a bobby pin or a hair pin. And she's gently uh, gliding it over the pin curl so it'll stay. And when you use hair pins or um, bobby pins, make sure it has the protective coating on it. And it has the little protective, um, the balls at, at the end of the hair pin or the bobby pin. Just because you just do not want to snag your hair. Um, we're looking for healthy hair, growth healthy hair. Um, length and the retaining length. So in order to do that, just make sure you have protective coating on, on all your hair pins and body pins. So here we are. She's getting ready to construct the braided French braid. She's going to braid upward. So what she does is she just grabs three little um, individual plaits and then as she's braiding upward, she's just grabbing a little bit. Maybe she grabs two or three at a time, but it's not a whole bunch of them. Uh, basically, you just have to visualize because it's, it's not a recipe or a clear distinction on how she does it. She just grabs a little bit of the hair and she just braids it upward. And you make, you want to make sure that you're braiding firm enough that the uh, French braid will stay. Right now, I haven't had any trouble and she did not braid it too tight. So when I left the salon, my hair was not extremely tight. But it was firm, and I can tell you I do not have any bumps or sores on my hair, on my head. So, like I said, as you, as you see her braiding upward, she's just, she's doing it slowly. She's not doing it too fast. She's going to make sure she's grabbing all the sections of, of her that's needed to be grabbed, and she's braiding upward. And on those particular cornrows that created plaits in the back, it's not really necessary to braid it all the way to the end of the individual cornrows because as you braid it upward it just uh meshes into the uh, french braid that is going to complete this hairstyle for the uh back part of the style so there she is right there she's just grabbing small sections of those loose plaits that was formed uh that was the remaining of the cornrows and here she is all the way she's braiding all the way to the top and once she gets to the very top of the uh, French, the, uh, French braid, she's going to continue to braid all the way to the end. And that actually will form one uh, medium-sized pin curl that will complete the top part of this particular style. So here she is. She actually had to use a combination of two hair pins to make sure the medium-sized pin curl will stay intact. So here we are, the end result of the picture. So... Thank you so much for watching Natural Lossie's channel. If you like this particular hairstyle or you know someone who would like it, uh, please leave a comment in the box below. And thank you so much for watching Natural Lossie's channel.